Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday, number 135 on the Mana League. I'm John as always, and it's time for the penultimate Hour of Devastation draft. We've got one this week, we've got one next week, and the following week we're going to be doing Ixalan set reviews. The week after that, of course, will be the annual, or quad annual, I suppose, pre-release recap, and then we'll get back to Spiky Saturdays on September 30th with an Ixalan draft. This, of course, is a sponsored draft. This is Daniel's sponsored draft, so he'll be getting every card that we get. And let's uh, see how it goes. All right, here we are for pack one, pick one. And it's not a great pack for pick one, really. There is an open fire, which is probably just going to be what we're going to take. There's some great cards here. Wretched Camel I love. Bitterbow Sharpshooter is very nice. There is a Desert. Uh, Merciless Eternal has been really good in my experience. Overcome has not been as good as I had hoped. There's a lot of decent cards here, but not really much that we want for pick one beyond that open fire so we'll just take that open fire and be okay with it uh, i'm on kind of a losing streak with our devastation actually i'm o and five in my last two f and m appearances in paper which is unfortunate part of that was because i stupidly pack one picked one frank sanity again and tried it again and it did not work and i went o and three and then last night, trying to get the first fatal push promo of the season i uh miserably failed with an incredible deck with something like six rares, including a Foil Resilient Kenra, a Mirage Mirror, uh, a Vizier of the Menagerie, tons of awesome rares in a green-black deck, and uh, my deck just refused to draw more than three lands ever in all of the games that I played, uh, which doesn't work, unfortunately. So let's hope I do a little bit better here. So we got that open fire, and we can follow that up with a Ronus's Stalwart, um, a Desert... might just be the desert lethal sting is okay it's not great we don't want the gilded ceridon <clears throat> this is again a pretty mediocre pack so i think we will just take that desert there to stay kind of on color uh hopefully we can then pick up you know sand stranglers or stuff like that and some more deserts of course ronus's stalwart is probably the non-land pick in this pack but i'm pretty okay just taking this desert here uh okay we get on a Catcher's Avenger, which is real nice, and probably what we're going to take here. Merciless Eternal is really nice. Um, Black just hasn't been having a good go of it lately. Just hasn't been having a good go of it. White, on the other hand, is quite nice, and of course, Red-White is still good, because Amonkhet's genes are still in this set. So, uh, yeah, let's just take that Avenger. And maybe we're just going to go aggro. Good old aggro. Uh, let's see, we follow that up with a bunch of options. This is a much better pack. Uh, Resolute Survivors, Torment of Venom, a Red Desert, a Kenra Scrapper, Solitary Camel. I like all of this stuff that I'm seeing here. Um, but I think I might just take the Resolute Survivors and kind of uh, put our foot down that we're going red-white. I think that's what I'm going to do. We can get these camels. People seem to be really disrespecting them lately. Uh, scrappers we might not see. But we're definitely never going to see a Resolute Survivors again, so let's take it. I was really hoping to just get another one here to prove me wrong. Uh, well. Well. Sandblast, if we really want to just push into this color combination hard. Oasis Ritualist is probably the, the super correct pick here, because that's ever so slightly late. This should be going before fifth pick. Um, but let's just take the Sandblast, I think. Let's do a nice, simple draft here. Uh, well, we follow that up with a camel. Or a foil desert of the true. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do we take another desert yet? Or do we take the camel? I guess the correct pick is take another desert. We can get these camels next pack. Uh, there's also a thorn morlock, but I'll just take the desert. And I will again take the desert. And then that's enough deserts. Missing out on a frontline devastator, but that's fine. Third desert. Unfortunately, all tap deserts, which are my least favorite of the deserts that I like to play, which isn't a bad place to be, I suppose. They're better than all the colorless deserts. They're just not as good as the uh, the uncommon ones. Uh, we get a white rare. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. We're not going to play it though. We're just going to take a camel. Because we talked about the camels and we got one. 
Uh, better than a Ceradon. Nothing else here we want, so Solitary Camel in. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. We actually haven't seen red. But we haven't seen red, like, even right from the get-go. So who knows what's going on there. Um, yeah, I think we just stay on plan. Take a Steadfast Sentinel. Hopefully won't play it, but we'll see. Uh, and now we get absolutely nothing for us. And really nothing for anyone. Uh, I guess we can take a Manolith. Maybe we splash for something. Probably not, but maybe we do. Nothing here. We can take the Grave and Abomination. Uh, Dutiful Servants technically is a... Well... If we have to ditch a color, then maybe Frilled Sandwall is more playable than Dutiful Servants ever will be. So we can take that. Um, Scrounger, I guess. Another Graven Abomination. Wow, that pack started okay. And it did not end okay. Got better, though. Got better. <laughs> Earthshaker Kenner is a very nice pickup. Uh, there's a Blur of Blades, which maybe comes back around. The Solitary Camel will probably come back around. Uh, yeah, seems fine. Earthshaker, get in there. No, never, ever again, Frank Sanity. Never, ever, ever, ever again. Uh, I guess we'll just take this Ramming Up Ruins here. Helps with our Camel and the other Camels we'll hopefully get. There's Dauntless Haven, which is really the only other thing I'm thinking about here. Uh, but we'll take the Ramming Up Ruins. Uh, ooh, we follow that up with a Mirage Mirror, which I'll be very happy to take. The only other thing in the pack, really, is the Red Desert or the Sandblast. Uh, for me, anyways. So, yeah, let's take a Mirage Mirror. Follow that up with a Dauntless Aven. Seems fine. We're not really going the zombie route, so unconventional tactics does not seem correct. A lot of blue here. In fact, good blue, but oh well. Let's take that Dauntless Aven. And what can we follow that up with? Hey, I've never seen an Apocalypse Demon come around. Maybe people are finally realizing that it is horrifyingly bad. Um, are we going to play a boring two-drop? Are we going to play a boring combat trick? Which is it going to be? Let's go with the boring two-drop. Uh, are we going to play another boring two-drop? Or a combat trick that I actually rather like? Let's play the combat trick that I actually rather like. Spent a lot of time picking up deserts, so I'm gonna kinda need to pick up some playables here. Um, not much. We could take a crash through. We could splash for a mummy, but that doesn't really make sense. There's just not gonna be enough zombies going on here. So I guess we'll take the crash through. Um, boy. We need a lot of creatures in this last pack, don't we? Uh, let's take another act of heroism. This is something that I, I disagree with what I've heard a lot of people say. A lot of people said, oh, you can spend tons of picks on deserts because you never, ever, ever don't have way too many playables. And I don't agree. I do not agree. I, I find that frequently I'm struggling for playables, so... I don't think you have that many free picks. Hey, hey, Blur Blades came back. Uh, the Camel didn't, unfortunately. Very unfortunately, but Blur is fine. Uh, we can take Granitic Titan just because we kind of need some creatures. But then what? That's a late desert. I'll take that. Uh, Gilded Ceradon is playable and a creature, so we can pop that in. Uh, we're not going to play the second crash through. We're probably not going to play the first crash through. Maybe we have to play Dutiful Servants, but we really don't want to. Nor do we want to play the second Defiant Kenra. But that's where we are right now. <laughs> Come on, Glorybringer. Glorybringer. 
Nope, it's a garbage card. But we get ourselves a Nefcrop Entangler, which is totally fine. We're not going to take the Inoketra's name or the Binding Mummy or the Brute Strength, so we're going to take good old Nefcrop. Pass me a Glorybringer. Uh, pass me an Approach of the Second Sun. We are not an Approach of the Second Sun deck. Not at all. We're a Gustwalker deck, though. We are certainly a Gustwalker deck. We're also a Tawcrop Elite deck. And True Heart Duelist, for that matter. But I think we'll just take Gusty Dubs. Good old Gusty Dubs. Why did it start a new two-drop pile? Um, well, not much other than an impeccable timing. It's not great, but we don't want a Flame Blade Adept or a Limited Solidarity or a Violent Impact, so we'll take it. Why do I have two two-drops? Better, much better. Uh, we could take a prepare. We could take a prepare, which is a fine trick. And then we could splash for the green side. Otherwise, we're looking at a Bloodlust Insider, which we're not quite that deck. A Thresher Lizard, which would be fine. Uh, a Manticore, which would be fine. Hmm. I think splashing is probably just too cute. So we will take... We're probably lacking in finishing stuff, so let's take this Manticore here. A uh, Soulscar Mage, or a Cat, or a Ceridon. Um We're not really dealing damage, are we? We've got Open Fire, <laughs> and that's all. Ah, uh, Sandblast too, technically, I suppose. Um, I guess the question is, do we want a 1-2 for 1? Uh, or do we want a Sacred Cat? I do like Sacred Cats. Well, let's take a Sacred Cat. Uh, Binding Mummy, ooh, Unwavering Initiate is totally fine. Totally what I want. In you go. Um, nada. So we can take Violent Impact. Maybe we can side it in against Artifacts or something. It's a really late Bone Picker. Uh, Merciless Javelinier is something we could definitely consider splashing. We do have the Mana Lith. I am all aboard doing that. Uh, we are not going to play Dutiful Servants. We are not going to play Granitic Titan? Granitic Titan? We're not going to play Grenade Titan. Let's pop in the Merciless Javelin here. Uh, we can take an Anoketra's name. We're not going to play it. We need to play this Manolith. Uh, nothing here for us. Let's take a Foil Haze of Fallen. Uh, illusory Wrapping, sure. Okay, so we need a cut, and it's probably just Crash Through, I guess. Crash Through ain't any good. So we can cut that. And then we will play... A Ruins, a True, a Fervent, a True, a Fervent. And then we'll play like two Swamps to give us three sources with the Manolith. And then the rest, a mixture of Plains and Mountains. And see how it goes. Deck looks totally fine. It's lacking the kind of explosive power, but we can get through and if our opponent even slightly stumbles we should just run them over right that's the plan anyways the plan is also finding out what other cards we're going to get here who is slowing down the draft oh the thresher lizard's fine play that over a steadfast sentinel any day uh wrappings a mummy and a land. All right. Well, there's a deck. There's a deck. Nice and aggressive. Got that merciless javelinier value going. Just missing the glory bringer. We're always missing the glory bringer, though. Let's add some basic lands. Uh, six five one. Let's say five two five. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white, uh, actually eight red, seven white, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white, actually twelve red, I think. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. We'll save that deck and I will see you guys for match one where hopefully we can do some stuff and I can turn around my losing streak.